Um, my friend Grant and I made a beautiful French onion dip with cider. Very, um, uh, it's gonna be like an autumn favorite for everybody. Don't yes, you think? oh, totally. Yeah, this is great for football season. This is great for movie night. And we have that dip of the sweet onions laced with the cider, um, the nutmeg, the white pepper, the garlic. We have that out with pretzels and with hot waffle fries fresh from the oven, sweet potato chips, blue potato chips, and the crudité that nobody will eat, so turn it into soup tomorrow. <laughs> now, if you make a double batch, we're gonna make French onion French bread pizzas. Uh, okay, so you're gonna show us what to do with leftover French onion dip. Yes. Like I said, just make double batch. Yeah, because you're not gonna have leftover. You're not gonna stuff. have leftover. Um, so we're just gonna take our leftover here. This one is very, very simple. We just have one big loaf of French bread and we quarter, cut it in half and quartered it. And now we're just gonna give it a slather. I love that word, it's I so know. sexy. Any recipe that calls for a slather, slather, I'm like, oh yes. Slather my bread, Listen, baby. I don't even watch football, but if you guys made this for <laughs> any sort of event, I would be there. You would come. Absolutely. <laughs> you would just be talking or do drawing doodles or something. I would be eating. I would be <laughs> eating all of this. Uh, so we're just gonna slather. We have about a cup of leftover here and we're just gonna slather it on top. And then of course we're gonna top that with some cheese and because Rachel, it's, it's French. Being Rachel, of course. She's like, it's French, so we're gonna top it with what? Gruyere. Yes, right. And Parmigiano. So a little bit of Gruyere on top, a little bit of Parmigiano Reggiano finely grated, and then I'm just gonna top it with some more um, fresh garlic, and some thyme and some parsley, and we're gonna pop it in the oven. So you're basically just making a fresh herb cheese pizza, yep. and it's a white pizza with your dip as the base. Totally. Over here, I sauteed up some spinach or Swiss chard. Chop it, drizzle of olive oil, pat it super dry. You want as little liquid as possible. I took one bunch of spinach or Swiss chard works, little tiny bit of garlic, dash of olive oil, salt, pepper, nutmeg. I just squished in a half of a fresh lemon. Same deal. <clears throat> We're gonna put this together with our one cup or so of leftover dip. And we're going to make a spinach pizza. So creamy greens. Yeah, this is sort of like that crudité roll. If you eat all of those nice dark greens, <laughs> it negates all of the calories of the dip and the bread. It's so healthy. It's like taking vitamins, really. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Grant and I have two pizzas. So we have a plain white pizza, we have a spinach pizza. Up next, we got one more to show you, and we're gonna get these two in the oven right after this. Grant and I are back, and we are working on our third leftover French onion dip French bread pizza. It's kind of a tongue twister. Now, this last one, I'm taking about a cup of our leftover dip, spreading it across, very thinly spreading it across French bread. And instead of mozzarella, we're using Gruyere and Parm here because they're French bread pizzas. Mmm. But this one, I think, is probably going to be the most popular. It's the meat lover's pizza. So we're taking parm and gruyere, spreading that all over the top. And then we took some lardon. We made some lardon out of a big, thick slab of meaty bacon. Half render it. Don't take it all the way. Render out half the fat. Sprinkle that across the top. And then I've got saucisson, it's called. It's in the pickup meats, usually near the deli in your grocery stores. Um, and it looks like an Italian salami, but it's very mild and it just has a sweet garlicky flavor. And you slice it super thin like pepperoni. So we're gonna put the French sausage all over the pizza with the lardon, AKA bacon, and the cheeses, <laughs> and the French onion dip. Crazy! Totally. Let's show them what they all look like. All right. Oh. And then you just put them in the oven, 400 or so degrees, till they're all crispy and brown and bubbly. There's here, our first I'll keep one. Them over here. Here's the white. Ooh, hot. Here's number two. Yeah. Spinach. Ooh, they are hot. White, spinach. Good thing I can't feel my fingers for the last few years. <laughs> right, spinach? I'll make you some room back here. This one Get some of the meat good. lovers on there. Get those meats oh on there. Oh my God. Ow. Ow. I know. It's really hot. Even for us. There we go. Yay! <laughs>